G'day folks, Tosh back here again uh, in my medieval engineers world and I'm here sort of at the request of uh, one of my new subscribers um, has made a request about elevators. So I've had a bit of a play around with a few different models to see what works and what doesn't work and I've come up with a relatively stable one. Um, so hopefully this might be able to be used in your world. Um, let me know what you think and uh, here we go. So the, the sort of final design that I finished on was, was this. Uh, you can see there we've just got a belt drive to keep all of these in alignment and pulling at the same uh, rate. Oh, I haven't quite got that one down all the way. There we go. Um, and then the toggle in the middle, so you can actually get onto the elevator. And up you go. As I said, it's a little bit jumpy, but going down seems to be the, the jumpiest of, of all of them, which is a bit strange. Um, it's just a, an articulated cart I'm working on. So we had a few different uh, different goes at how to encapsulate the cable, the actual carriage. Um, I was pretty happy with this one, although it, it still gets caught in a few places. So I'm not really happy with that either. So what I've actually ended up with is this, which is really not encapsulated at all. It's free flowing but by getting everything perfectly aligned and in tune and all of that sort of stuff just having this one at the back here to actually sort of act as I guess like a slide works pretty well so we come in here and um, up we go Oops. settle down you're gonna make a lie about it And there we are. So same design, just with the belt drive on the side. The four rope drums, obviously, you've got to make sure that they're in the right way. Now, all I did was selected a new drum and put the drums on to each of the catch blocks first. So one, two, three, four then connect it up the middle and that seems to have worked fine now I already had the belt drive in place that's the first thing that you do um, and then the rope drums on next and then to go down oops, come on behave yourself jumping around today and again I, I emphasize the fact that it just seems to be some days it gets loaded better than others um, it, it's a bit bizarre in that it, that I don't know what you'd call it but you know the way that it it loads stuff up sometimes is um, and then I'll just straighten that back up again like, oh, that's too much, I'll bet. Oh, that's not bad. So, build your frame. Freestanding, obviously. Don't uh, attach it to anything. So, you know, if you need to, just do the old um, drop the timber on the ground. And then, you know, build up from there. Such as, like, so... And then that's freestanding. Except I can't. Oh, there we go. That's freestanding there. So um, build the cage up around it. Then put your catch blocks on. Make sure you don't touch anything as far as moving the catch blocks or anything. Put your rotors on. 
don't forget to use the control key when you're putting the um, rope attachments on so that they're all aligned perfectly and the control key when you're putting these two blocks on this one and this one so that they're aligned as well then attach up your ropes then as I said just one two three four with your um, uh, cable drums and away you go make sure that you've got those four up here as close to direct above the center of your rope drums as you can get them um, when this is all you know perfectly aligned and everything it's um, it's actually pretty close to straight just a slight little angle but that um, that seems to work pretty well so hopefully that's um, that's given you an idea as you can see it's a fair distance certainly be high enough to take radio stuff up to his um, his little mine area there from the carts below I'm still working on a couple of other ideas as far as that's concerned in getting um, you know the the turntable and stuff getting the ca the cart to work both ways it's sort of what I'm trying to work on with this articulated one whether or not you can have a couple of carts together that uh, are articulated but the problem that I'm having is the weight of course um, you know this is me now walking in the in the forward direction as much as I can and you can see we're only just moving so and this isn't full by any stretch of the imagination there's no logs in there there's only you know a bit over half set of oil ore there and a, you know, a bit over half a set of ore there so although in, um, <coughs> that's a full one actually in survival it adds another one on in uh, creative so yeah hopefully that's helped uh, giving you some ideas if nothing else um, there's nothing special about the connecting it doesn't matter the order in which you connect the ropes or anything like that the key is getting these right so if you find that it's jiggling around a hell of a lot then it's probably one of your drums that's causing the problem uh, so just make sure that these are perfectly aligned and you can tell that just by looking at them see there they're perfectly in alignment with the line through here and through here um, so if they're okay then it's probably your, your rope drums so um, okay if that was of any interest or help to people which I hope it was um, if you'd like to leave a like I'd appreciate it thank you to all the new subscribers and welcome I'm glad you're um, finding something of interest out of the the medieval engineers uh, you can see in the background there one of the things that I'm working on again for radio is to uh, work a cable car up from the bottom there up to the top of the tower uh, that's proving to be a mammoth task but uh, I'll get there I'll get there <laughs> So if there's anything else you want to see at all, uh, let me know. And if you'd like to leave a comment down the bottom, uh, and as I say, if you'd hit that like button, that'd be appreciated. And if you're new to the channel uh, and feel like you're getting something from it, subscribe. Uh, at the moment, I'm certainly putting up videos almost every day, uh, certainly every couple of days. Um, and as long as I keep getting questions and things to build, uh, I can keep doing that. So have a good day. And I'll see you next time.